Gabe Padilla alongside a Daniel Gonzalez. How you feeling right now, man? It was a it was a good good war. If that oh, it makes was sense. Good, man. It was good back and forth. Again, I expected a brawl. Yeah, he did have more experience, so I didn't expect to come out here and roll through my opponent. But again, um, I thank him for the opportunity. I want to thank my coach, thank uh, Legacy Promotion, and thank you guys as well. Yeah, it was a good fight, a little sore, but again, on for the next one. In round one, um, you had him against the ropes. Um, you were landing very effective shots um, to the body. It even stunned him. What were you thinking at that point, uh, at the end of round one? At the end of round one, again, I think that took me back into my first couple fights mentality. I knew I heard him. I thought I was gonna be able to take him out, but then again, that's when experience comes into play. He's been in a couple wars, so again, he was, he was expecting to get hit. So it took me by surprise when he came back the second round, wanting to fight a little bit more. But again, that, that's just gonna go to my game and learning experience. I can't expect to drop everybody in the first couple rounds. So I'm gonna learn that and, and grow from that experience. To kind of bounce off that, man, you were hitting him with everything but the kitchen sink, and he kind of was just still standing and, and still there. What was going through your head when you were landing and stuff like that and he just didn't go down? The thoughts that kept on going through my head was, why am I fighting? Why am I here again? I did go through a loss yeah. and I didn't like how I felt. I didn't like going home and thinking, I wish I could have, should have, would have. So in those moments, I was actually thinking how I felt during my last loss. And again, I just pulled out that little extra and just gave it all I got. And luckily, hopefully, thank God I got that win. Um, how are these hometown victories feeling for you? Um, you know, and, and you know, I, a lot of people supporting you in the crowd. Uh, is that kind of something that helps you when you're facing adversity and adversity in those fights like that? You can hear the crowd, or is it just kind of zone in and it's just a one on one type thing? Uh, it's a yes and no thing. Again, yeah. it's always good to fight here at home, but uh, again, it's, it's not going to be always a hometown fight. So I, I love all the support that I get out here in New Mexico and Albuquerque, but. The, the plan is to grow grow the the fan base actually step out of new mexico and have that same amount of love all over so again hopefully i can get people from all around again even my opponents fans i want to be able to go go out there perform and have and grow fans just as a fighter and how i hold myself as a person again it's on it's not all about winning or losing it's all about how you inspire people and just leaving it all in the ring so that's what i want to represent and that's what i want to leave in that ring for everybody to see Awesome, man. Um, thank you for your time. Congrats on a huge win, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everybody. Thank you, Legacy, and thank you, Cage Minds. See you guys.